वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश थर्टीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द रिजिड बार इज सपोर्टेड बाई पिन कनेक्टेड रॉड सी बी एंड हैज़ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ फोर्टीन स्क्वेयर मिलीमीटर एंड इज मेड अप फ्राम सिक्स जीरो सिक्स वन टी सिक्स एल्यूमिनियम डिटरमाइन द वर्टिकल डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बार एड डी वन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड इज अप्लाइड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बार ए डी दैट इज सपोर्टेड बाई अ रिजिड बार दिस रिजिड बार इज सपोर्टेड बाई पिन कनेक्टेड रॉड क्लियर This rod has cross-sectional area 14 mm square and made up of 661 T6 aluminium. So you have to find the deflection of point D when this distributed load is applied. So due due to this load, this beam will deflect like this. So you have to find this delta C. So let's start with the solution. So you can see this length is two meter and this length is 1.5 meter and they are making a right angle triangle. clear so this is 1.5 this is 2.5 uh, 2 so by using pythagoras theorem you will get 1.5 square is equal to 1.5 square plus 2 square is equal to this x square and this x square is equal to uh, this x will be equal to 1.5 square plus 2 square and when you calculate this x will be equal to 2.5 meter also you can see that if i draw a horizontal line from here so this will be the theta angle so this theta angle will be can be found by using this formula theta is equal to tangent inverse 1.5 divided by 2 so when you calculate it you will get this theta will be equal to 36. Point 86 degree now what we will do is that if you consider this beam ad as a line so if i draw horizontal line this is your point a and this is your point d and there is uniformly distributed load of if i say that is given as using by dotted line so this is 300 Newton per meter when converted into a point load, so it will be equal to three hundred over total length, which is two plus two is equal to four, so it will be equal to twelve hundred newton. Now at point A, if you remove this pin support, so you will be having a reaction force, vertical reaction force that is A X, and there will be a horizontal reaction force which will be equal to A X, and this will be equal to ay and if you remove this rod so definitely there will be a force that is exerted by this rod and let this just this the force in this rod is equal to tbc now this tbc will have two component one along this direction and other one is in upward direction so this will be tbc y component and this will be tbc x component so we will uh, this is your point b so we will find this tbc by using this equation that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive and this distance from a to b is 2 meter and from b to d is this is also a 2 meter distance so let's start with the equilibrium condition now at about point a one moment will be this 300 into 4 and perpendicular distance is 2 and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write 1200 into 2 that is minus the second moment will be produced by this vertical component tbcy and this will be equal to tbc into sin of this theta which is 36.86 so plus tbc into sin of 36.86 into perpendicular distance is this 2 and that is producing a counter clockwise movement so it will be positive their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get tbc will be equal to 2000 newton 
you can also find a x and a y but that is not needed we need this t b c now you can see that the force in this t b c is 2000 newton so what will be elongation in this so elongation in rod b with respect to c will be equal to t b c into length of b c divided by area of b c into E. So TBC is 2000 length which we have find X is LBC which is equal to 2.5 divided by area which is given as 14 millimeter. So 14 millimeter is equal to 14 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter. So we have convert 14 into 10 to the power minus 6 and e for you can check the property table so you will find the e for this 6061 t6 aluminium i will write the value over here 68.9 gigapascal you can check it from the property table so when you calculate you will get the elongation in rod bc will be equal to 0 0.005183 meter length of bc was originally 2.5 meter and now length has been increased due to load which is original length lbc plus elongation in that rod so 2.5 plus 0.005183 so this length lbc dash will be equal to 2.50 uh, this length will be equal to 2.5 this will be we will carry out and it will be 2.509 meter now you have this length so what we will do is that we will move to the beam so if this was the original beam of a d length a and this is point d and that was the height and this was the loading due to at the mid which is equal to 1200 and this is the loading t b c which will be till this point this is tbc this height is 1.5 meter this length is 2 meter and this length is also 2 meter so i will choose another color so due to this uniformly distributed load or this converted into point load the beam will <coughs> it will deflect deflect like this this length is now changed so it will like this and the beam will like this okay so this is your lbc and this is your lbc dash now you can see that angle has been changed so this let this theta is theta a so how we will find this theta a so you can see this this is the bigger length lbc dash this is 2 meter this is 1.5 meter so using angle of cosine this lbc dash which is 2 point which is 2.50519 square will be equal to 1.5 square one of its length plus this two meter length which is now this one here two square minus two times 1.5 into two and cause of angle in between them so cause of theta a so when you solve this you will get theta a will be equal to 90.248 degree so initially 
this degree was 90 and now this is 90.2 dash 8 so we are interested in this angle so this angle is equal to theta dash so theta dash is equal to theta a minus 90 degree so 90.248 degree minus 90 degree will be equal to 0 0.2478 degree so this is theta dash and we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree and 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian so 0 0.2478 degree will be equal to 0 0.2478 into pi divided by 180 radian and that will be equal to 0 0.004324 radian 0 0.2478 degree now you have this angle theta and we are interested to find out this deflection delta dash so by using s is equal to r theta so s is actually del d and r is total length of this beam which is 4 meter 4 meter so i will write 4 r is equal to 4 meter so in millimeter it will be equal to 4 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter so 4000 millimeter so I will write 4000 into theta is 0 0.004324. You have to take it in radian. So when you solve this, you will get theta d will comes out to be 17.3 millimeter. And that will be deflection at point D. This is 17.3 millimeter. And that was all about this problem 4-13. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it that to how to calculate the deflection for such type of problem. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.